In this video, I want to explain how we can divide by a fraction. But first of all, let's consider what we mean when we divide by an integer. So let's say I've got something like, um, let's say, 5 sixths, and I want to divide that by 2. OK, so I'm going to divide 5 sixths by 2. Now, the first thing that we need to understand is that when I'm dividing by 2, that is the same thing as saying I want half of that. OK, I want one half of that. Or if I'm dividing by 3, I'm saying I want one third of that. OK, so actually dividing by 2 has to be the same as multiplying by one half. OK, now we recognise that 2 is the same as 2 over 1. So I could write 5 sixths divided by 2 over 1 as 5 sixths times 1 half. Now, it is interesting to note that this original question can be rewritten like this by turning the division into a multiplication and turning that fraction upside down. Essentially, we are finding the reciprocal of 2. OK, so the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2. The reciprocal of 3 is 1 over 3. The reciprocal of 1 over 3 is 3. OK. So we essentially multiply by the reciprocal. And this method works for all examples where we are doing division. So let's say I've got another example. Um, let's say I've got uh, 5 eighths and I want to divide that by 4. Well. I know that dividing by 4 is the same as multiplying by a quarter. So I am instead going to multiply by the reciprocal of 4, which is 1 quarter. And so we get 5 over 32. And that's my answer. Right, OK, so now that we know how to divide by an integer, how then do we divide by a fraction? Well, if I wanted to do 5 eighths divided by 1 half, OK, then the same method must apply. So I must multiply by the reciprocal, which is 2 over 1. So reciprocal of a fraction is just swapping the numerator and denominator. OK? So I multiply by 2 over 1. And then I get 5 times 2, which is 10, over 8 times 1, which is 8. And that's 5 quarters. So when I divide by a number between 0 and 1, I get something larger. OK? I get, in this case, 5 quarters. So in this case, division Usually you think, when I do division, I should always end up with something smaller. And I do in this case, because I'm dividing by 4. I'm splitting it up into four equal pieces, each of size 5 over 32. But this time, when I'm dividing by a number between 0 and 1, I actually end up with a larger number. Because essentially I'm asking, how many times can I get 1 half into 5 eighths? How many halves go into 5 eighths? And that's 5 quarters. OK, so that is how we can divide by a fraction. We change it into a multiplication and we multiply by the reciprocal.